Assalamualaikum Dan kali ini kita akan nontonin ya Ada seorang wanita Hindu Yang datang ke speaking corner Dimana disitu Dia mengatakan bahwa Orang yang tidak vegetarian Atau orang yang karnivora Yang suka memakan daging Itu adalah orang-orang yang kejam Kenapa kejam? Karena mereka mengkill uh, Istilahnya adalah Makhluk hidup yang disebut Dengan hewan Namun ketika ditanya balik tentang prinsipnya dengan analogi yang tepat dia malah kelabakan apa pertanyaan itu simak video di selengkapnya hingga akhir agar kalian tidak salah paham selamat menonton So again? You eat meat. Yeah, I do. I'm, so a, probably, I'm not a vegetarian. Yet. Yeah, no. I I'm, like my lamb yeah, biryanis. But what I'm saying is that is also life. And probably you have killed as many animals no. as Hitler killed people. We, we take life with the yeah. permission of God because these, you know, we have a perspective about in this life. I don't do it for what sport. What are roles? I do it no, yeah, yeah, to yeah, nourish yeah. myself. I yeah. understand. I taking the life of a human being is not the same as taking the life of an animal. Why? Because the value is different. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Says, do you have pets? Do Anybody you have pets? Do you have pets? Yeah. What do you feed them? What do you have? Cat or a dog? Dog. A dog. What do you feed your dog? dog. Vegetarian food? No, no. Dog. No. Oh, you no, feed him? I I'm not saying about me. I'm saying about you. No, no. But I'm using your principle. Yeah. You're saying that you're saying it is wrong for me to no, I'm be not wrong. be I'm a non-vegetarian. Why? Value Because value difference is there. You Why? do not, you do not treat your dog the same way as you would treat your kids, would you? No. Why is that? Because the value you realize is different. Okay. No, its needs are different. Say again. Its needs are different. No, no. Even the value, needs. even the value is different. So, for example, both your dog and your kids need food. Do you invite them to the dinner table at the same time on the dinner table? The but needs are same. They both them. need food, right? Yeah. But, but the I way you treat your dog them. is not definitely the same as you treat your children. But I don't. That's not because there is a value difference. No, no. You you value them differently. There's no doubt about. So you this. value the life of an animal and a human being the same, is it? No, I'm asking you. Why don't you value? Because them in our belief system, in our paradigm, the Creator has created us. And given us all of this for our benefit, even the the planets and other stars and so on, we can utilize them for our own benefit. So the food that we eat, the animals and so on, these are provisions for us. But we, of course, we cannot make that's, commit excesses. We cannot commit excesses. We have to, like for example, only consume for for food rather than sports. So we can't go and hunt. What she said? She said it's a narciss narcissistic view. But you, 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 even though so, you are saying this, you consciously do this. So you, you treat your animals and your children differently. There's no doubt about this. Do you think human beings and animals I'm have the saying, same value? No, no. I overall, I do believe religions have this narcissism aspect. I'm just not religion. No, no. Even you, as a non-religious person, you treat your animals, your pets, and your children differently. There's okay. no doubt about this. Have you have ever taken antibiotics? Yeah. How many bacteria have you killed? <laughs> If you consider the life of every living thing the same, then that means you should not take antibiotics or any antivirals or any antifungals, anything, because these will probably destroy the life of a fungus, of a bacteria, of a virus, of all this. Um, You know, no, I do that because I don't think organisms? of it as a value. I think of it as a survival. Sorry? I don't think of it as a value. I think of it as a survival. I mean, you I don't could, value them I, equally. If I you could eat meat, it would be no, no. my do you survival. Value, not do you value do you value all living beings? A, I am oh sort of God. lost here. Yeah. Do you value all living beings equally? Yeah. Equally. Yeah. So that means a bacteria, a very harmful bacteria, that mm. gives us infection. Mm. I could kill it if I if it means survival. She's saying she does I, it for survival. Survival. So you you do it for survival. 
it has no value so you would kill I mean, it for I survival think this mentality of value and power plays also very toxic no it's not you do like i said you do it whether you like it or not you would treat non humans differently to humans whether subconsciously or consciously and you do it on a daily basis without even realizing it so anyone who tells me that they value humans and non humans the same they're not being genuine for a scenario you have your own child and you have your own pet dog you can only save one of them child why would you spare the child and it's, not the dog because it's close to me right it's not so value. now you see the difference your comes value. in it's, it's your value not, judgment so so you no. it's not only it's what is close to me my okay dog. let's let's forget about your child somebody else's somebody child somebody else's child and your Then own what? pet we have no relation to that child yeah. and you is your stranger pet. to you the the ship is sinking you got some rats on the corner one corner and you got a child on the other corner the ship is sinking you are you only allowed to take one entity with you to save their life would you take a rat or would you take a human yeah. why like i said consciously or subconsciously you as a human being will always save the life or or value the life of a human higher than non human and that's okay. exactly what we are saying agree nah itu tadi bagaimana Um, seorang wanita Hindu yang berusaha untuk mempertahankan argumennya namun ketika diserang dengan argumen-argumen yang analoginya tempat dia kelabakan dan gimana ya dia mengatakan bahwa se- membunuh hewan itu sama dengan mengkill manusia tapi ketika um, istilahnya gimana ya ketika dia ditanya tentang Apakah kamu memperlakukan hewan seperti anak kamu? Ternyata enggak. Dia ternyata punya standar ganda. Padahal uh, dia berargumen bahwa mengkill hewan sama dengan mengkill human. Tapi ketika ditanya apakah kamu memperlakukan human sama hewan anakmu itu sama, ternyata dia b- bilang berbeda. Berarti kan itu sta- kan standar ganda ya. Ya, gimana ya hmm, emang sering sih gitu orang-orang yang di luar sana itu sering menggunakan standar ganda untuk menyudutkan Islam sering kali seperti itu tapi masya Allah dengan adanya speaking in corner ini semoga orang-orang yang bertanya seperti itu tercerahkan dan semoga orang-orang yang menonton video ini juga tercerahkan ya gitu aja sih ya menurut kalian gimana tulis di kolom komentar di bawah terima kasih telah menonton video ini hingga akhir sampai jumpa pada video dakwah berikutnya assalamualaikum